What's going on, Big Shane? I see you, man. Oh, shit. Hold on. Savage AF. Black Factory Radio. Black Pedro in the building. Shane is on his way in. Hey, what's going on, man? Big dog, what's going on? We get it? Uh, can I this, find uh, my, can't find my headphones right now. So I don't know what they're doing. Uh, did, did you look where headphones would be? That's when yeah, people ask you that dumb shit. I should have looked you, Did you look place. at the headphone area? I did, I did not. That's not something I did not think to do. Did he see? He didn't think about at the headphone area. What's going on, King David? Forty-eight seventy-two. What's going on? Shout outs. We doing shout outs. Everybody that's on here, Savage AF. You already know what it is. We advertised it, so you know what it is. We're gonna talk about some shit that's going on in the world. The world is a piece of craziness right now. Did you find them? No, not at all. Let me check one more. <laughs> not at all. No idea where they're at. Yo, the world's kind of crazy, but thank y'all for being crazy with us. Thank you, Miss Dot No underscore slick name. Crazy name. That's a crazy ass name. What the hell? I know it what is. the hell? What kind of name is that? God damn it. That's a crazy name. Thank you for joining us. We're going to talk about this. This is Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. We appreciate y'all. We've been on for a while now during the pandemic because we can't go in the studio. So we appreciate y'all for checking us out here. That, yeah, that, yeah, he left him in Vegas. He probably left him in Vegas. So um, also, we want you to subscribe. He's going to pin the information on there. We want you to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the podcast version of the show, which is, yeah, he found Savage, uh, Savage AF. Okay, you can check us out on iTunes. <laughs> on iTunes. See? Yeah iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and SoundCloud. Now, you make sure you subscribe, okay? It's free. Don't give me no shit about, I ain't got no money right now. I can't really do that right now. I ain't got that. I swear on everything I love, on everything, he proves, on everything I love, we need you to do that, okay? Don't, 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 don't act new style. Also, Savage AF Radio. That's another one we need you to check out for sure. What's up, comedian? Reg, what up, Reg Williams in the building? Oh, we got a lot of people in the building coming on right now. This is the early edition, but we will be on the rest of the week. We're on Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Make sure you also, when well, he's pinning that down there, you need to check out the website, yeah. imshang.com backslash merch. And check us out for the Don't Be Average Savage gear. Stop playing. Stop playing. You already know we got the dopest gear. So make sure you check it out. L Noop's in the building. Talk, yep, he about to talk some shit. King David, 4872, in the building. We got people jumping on right now. Uh, also, before we get into this, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to follow this young man. Uh, this young man right here. Uh, I'm putting the, the double. I don't know if that's either the goalpost. Or whatever, or the double ears. That's uh, follow um, <laughs> at Black Pedro. Thank you. And make sure you're always following that comedian Shang. If you're not already, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, Velda Star. Yeah, what's wrong with you? I see y'all. Uh, I saw Shawnee in the building earlier. I think. I see yeah, yeah. Up. And Breezy JJs. Let's go, y'all. We doing this. Savage AF man. You ready to get into this? Yes, 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 this? yes. And I'm also nervous. wanted to thank. This is crazy. Um, we got uh, today on Savage AF on Facebook, even though Facebook is, is full of shit and manipulative, but we're using it just to let the people know what the fuck we're doing. I want to show y'all something. Thank you so much. Today, this is today, 129 people already hit us. That's awesome. So I don't know if you can see it. 129 people hit the post, and that's where we're at now, 3,000. 654 followers. Let's keep going. Thank you so much for following the page. You can check us out, Savage AF, on Facebook. On Facebook. Even though it's manipulative, it's manipulative and it tries to make you think a certain way, we're just going to give you the real and it's on you. Okay, cool. Yes, Got is. that out the way. There we go. Kane, Garlene, we see you. Uh, all right, y'all, let's get into it. Savage AF, uh, this is September 14th, 2020. Worst year of all. 2020. 2020. Worst year so far. Uh, so we this has been a shit, shit show of a year. I, I got to post this thing. 
there's these ducks walking and one falls through a grate and then the ducks looking for the other ducks and the other ducks fall through a grate. And I was sitting there going, yeah, that's pretty much 2020. It's just, it is. it's uh, kind of a, it's a weird, it's a weird year. That's how it is, man. Lemmings and ducks just following each other off the edge. So uh, we're going to end today's show uh, talking about being sued up. Uh, which is what uh, the United States Postal Service now under uh, Louis DeJoy finds itself being sued by the Colorado Secretary of State. Um, I wonder over what, but we're going to talk about that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Before, we get into that, right, before we get into that, though, uh, we're going to talk about my nigga. <laughs> and I ain't, talking about, uh, I ain't talking about some shit uh, Denzel would have said in uh, training day, but I'm talking about right. uh, uh, that... Um, Remember uh, when, when Trump D. Dumpty was campaigning the first time in 2016 and he was like, Where's, there's my African-American. Look at him. He, aren't you great? That, there was, the, the, we gonna find, we going to talk about what's happened to that African-American uh, since. Uh, but before we talk about that, we're going to talk yeah. about ro rolling the dice, man. I just left <laughs> Vegas and so did Trump D. Dumpty. Uh, had a big old super spreader rally. <laughs> Yeah, that shit. That Indoors. shit was uh, stupid in Indoors. Vegas. Yeah, he's he's doing it right now. Uh, Latinos for Trump somewhere else, but we're gonna talk about that. But before we get into that uh, today, Savage AF uh, Laugh Factory Radio brought to you by uh, Black Pedro and comedian Shang. Is that a ring light that you got there? Yeah, I see you, dog. I see it, man. Finally, got the little one. You shining, man. Got the little one because I'm I'm already high yellow. I figured I didn't need it. But it up, I guess man. I get do. Him. No, hit, hit him with the glasses, too. Let him see what you're doing, man. Get him. Yeah, uh, see, this is the craziness going on. Um, yeah, yeah. And so, basically, uh, I wanted to, okay, we still got some. He still got his finish start to run up. Also, uh, thank you to, uh, Lee, uh, I'm not going to say L. Dura. I'll say L. Dura with Comics Uncensored. Uh, Pedro appeared on there twice last week. And uh, thank you guys for uh, checking her out. She got more shows coming up. You'll see them. Yep, that's what it is, y'all. Um, so uh, I want to start off today's show spending a good amount of time because somebody uh, said brings out the Asian. That's fucked up. Yeah, I'm not Asian. But it, it but no. uh, you know, well, this this uh, this weekend brought out uh, some crazy shit. Um, so we saw, and and I'm calling this a, a tale of two shitties, <laughs> a tale of two <laughs> shitties, because these are two uh you know shitty things that happened this weekend. Um, what we had in, uh, we saw in Georgia, surprise, surprise. Um, <laughs> of all, of all places. I mean, the, of all I places. Am just, I'm flabbergasted. There is no way more Saying shit I just, like this. I don't understand. That if shitty shit happened in Georgia, uh, in, in, in no Georgia, way, of all no places. Way. Dun, 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 I mean, dun, 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 dun. this is not. Yeah, just, that's good, man. It's not just God's country. This is the Lord's village, you know, Georgia. Yeah, they, the, they, they uh, own so, one there. So, uh, a brother named Rod Rick Walker, luckily, uh, was able to leave with his life and encounter with the police. But, um, uh, yeah, he, you know, the video. I don't know if you guys saw it, but uh, you know, there's two cops on him. Uh, one of them's punching him in the head repeatedly. By the time they get off him, he's unconscious and bleeding. Uh, they handcuff him. He's like frail and limp. Uh, and he is in jail right now because, yeah, he got he had warrants. He had warrants, whatever. But all of this came about because he was a a passenger in a car, you know, not even driving. And the car had a broken tail light. And, you know, it's black while riding, black while riding with a broken tail light. Um, but, you know, he, he ends up getting his ass whooped versus on the other end of it in California, um, in, in the Compton area. Uh, I don't know if you saw this video as well. Yeah. I don't know if you saw this video, but, uh, you know, an assailant ran up on, uh, two cops up, sitting, sitting in a car and uh, open fire, and uh, those cops are in critical con condition. I think all we know as far as their identity is that one was uh, a woman and one was a man. Um, but, you know, I, I, I just think that we're seeing um, two, two, two ends of this, this scale of America here. That, that's just, and we're on a teeter-totter that just keeps 
flipping back and forth. The uh, fucked up seesaw, if you will. It's a, it's yeah, a, it's, yeah. it's a shitty seesaw. And a like you said, season. Taylor too shitty, which is very funny, by the way. <laughs> uh, but, but, but you're a good writer, though. Yeah, I, I mean, I, but you're a good writer. Um, no, I'm just saying, I think that the, the thing is, it was I, this is so fucked up. I kind of, the one that happened out this way in Cali, I was kind of like, well, y'all have been doing a lot of assassinations. So sometimes people that are crazy think, well, you assassinate my folks. I'm assassinate your folks. Yeah, that's how some people think. So I didn't feel that shitty. I felt like, well, well, man. yeah. So uh, and uh, pretty on the left and right. Uh, somebody said they, they were sheriffs. They weren't cops. Yeah. They were sheriffs. Uh, yeah, you know, law enforcement. So, th thank you for the uh, the uh, correction. But you know, cops, sheriffs. They, you know, we we have problems with both of them. Um, but what, what I want to say is that about about this specifically you know, the running up on of of on the cop on the sheriff's law enforcement in general. And Yeah, and, law enforcement, right. You know, this this is an assassination attempt and we and we and we witness it happening a lot to us. But for those that uh wanna encourage it, because you know, I know there were protesters out there who were like blocking the hospital and, and wishing for the cops to die, those sheriffs to die. Um I don't think y'all are really ready for open war with with cops, sheriffs, mounties, um, <laughs> coast guard, nigga. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, and yeah. It's, they, it's, they, so, so to to just randomly run up on. I mean, I don't know. In that area, I, you know, I'm I'm looking at it. This this isn't an organized move in in any way. Like this is not, you know, some organized political organization tr trying to, ex you know, do something that's positive to, to move anything forward. Like all, I, I get we're already at war pretty on the left, but are you prepared for this level of war? Right. Because, because at what right. point, that, and that's all I've asked all of y'all. That's what I'm saying. Like, are you ready for open war with the cops? I like, really understand what this means because all this is going to do is take this already Hyper militarized force that doesn't trust us, wants to patrol us, wants to overhype us, and make them fucking even more terrified, right? So I'm, right. I'm, I'm, all I'm asking is, are you as a motherfucker? Right. If you're going to talk shit there, about throwing hands, you better be ready to throw hands. That's pretty I'm much saying, what it I'm is. I'm not saying get ready to do that in order to do that. I'm I know, but saying, I'm saying if you're going to do things, yeah. If you're going to do what things like that, you better be ready. And I don't think a lot of people are ready. And I think a lot of these rednecks been. Hopping at the bitch like we've been lighting for a fucking war. We've been training in the woods. Uh, I fucking go out here. I shoot. I shoot trees and deers. I fucking shoot logs. I don't give a fuck. So I can get ready in case it goes down where the white race, where the white race has to get it and get in, and get it on. And there's a lot of black people that can't even fucking shoot. Well, I mean, not Pedro. Pedro got better now. But if somebody's up on him, I don't know, six five feet, six away, they, it's a wrap. Even, even watching the video, right? Even watching the video of the of the shooter of the sheriffs, um, you know, he was all one handed with it. He didn't hold the gun sideways, but you know, I was like, oh, that ain't a trained shooter. That's not a, you know, that's not somebody, right? right. That's you know, ready like, for it. It almost seemed like maybe some gang initiation shit or something, but uh, and and all of this is speculation. They they they're on a manhunt for this person, but just understand that as citizens, because I'm hearing the language of. You know, that's what they get and blah, blah, blah. It's like, first of all, you, See, don't, know hard you, you don't know anything about those two individual sh deputies that that were fired upon and are fighting for right. their lives. Right, but so, you know like, what? I, I'm going to play devil's advocate. There was people that were saying online, they said that you don't know anything about the black man you stop. And you don't know anything about the black man that tells you he's armed, got his kids in the back of the car with his woman. You don't know anything about him. And he gives you, hey, I have a legal right to carry these arms. And you still you still ventilate him. OK, you give him aftermarket fucking holes. And that ain't cool. So the end of the day, the end of the day is people feel like they're fed up. And that's why they feel like with the cops. Oh, you killed way more of us than we killed of you. So they feel like this is trying to like even Steven, and it's not because cops will go, oh, oh, is that what we're doing? And when you mm -hmm. see these cops think that, and the sheriffs and everybody else, you know, it's going to be some shit. It's going to be some shit, and it's going to be worse.
And they're yeah. already doing fucked up shit. Yeah. yeah. Pretty on the left and right said, if gangs can kill each other, uh, why not put it to good use? Listen, what I'm saying is, like, you got you to gotta think this all the way through, okay? So, in, in this scenario, pretty on the left and the right, gangs, right, Crips and Bloods and whoever else, go get, they get together. Whatever they do when they're fingers. And, and yeah. just start shooting cops, right? Just start killing cops everywhere. So then cops do what? And not just cops, but then you get your, your Kyle Rittenhouses and all the Trump supporters with the guns, like Shang said, who've been out in the woods training and can't wait to get there. Right. And they're, Eating muskrats. They're, they're, they're a mud, biting uh, trees. Uh, yeah. Mod Arbery murderers type that, you know what I'm saying? Like, then they all come out of the woods. All I'm asking you as a citizen who, who is calling for this is, are you ready for all of that? Because before you call for all of that, you should be ready for all of that because you're not going to be able to go to a store and get a gun and then organize a bunch of people around you and then figure out and then train and then figure out how to protect the neighborhood. Like, it's too late. They're, they're, it's, it's Tulsa. Now they're coming through the hood and just bombing your ass. Like, trust me. Yeah, like, but that, you know what? No, you know what? Like, there, are, there are gangs, and I, I would say there are gangs that um, – and comedian Reggie Williams said – First gangs got to um, unite with each other gangs. They're already mad at other gangs. They can't even get it together between each other. So how are you going to get it together against one of the biggest gang, which is the blue gang? The, 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 yes, there's no way. Exactly. We, we, they'd have to be like the Crips, the Bloods, the, 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 the Locos, the fucking, you know, 69 Rollers. All of these motherfuckers would have to get together and say, we're going to be one unified force. And you still wouldn't have the weaponry these motherfuckers have. They have shit that shoots through fucking buildings. You understand? Like, I'm talking about armor-piercing bullets. Now, some of the gangs do have that, okay? Some of the gangs do have that, but they still ain't going to be able to fuck with them. If anything, I think the main thing... None of that is organized as, as a response force or any kind of community protective force or anything like that. Like, none of that is built for that you know what i'm saying All right and they're not trained they're not trained ship drugs through the goddamn hood man like stop playing like that shit ain't yeah. organized like that like now the most the, organized i did see is no fucking around coalition yeah, they look I mean, more organized they're not trying to be rah-rah they're just like we're just gonna be here as a show of force in case you show force but at the end of the day the places yeah yeah they and they, be, they can't be everywhere number one number two I understand what's happening, but I'm going to tell you right now, man, I had a hard time. I was kind of like, I can see where people's coming from. I was like, yeah, some of these cops need to get a little little taste, too. I mean, yeah, and, you know. and we don't know the cops that they shot. Maybe they were the best cops in the world. But the bottom line is a lot of these fucking cops, a lot of these good cops let bad cops get away with murder, extortion, fucking skimming, all that shit. So when do we go, hey, good cops? Hey, good cops, when are you going to be good cops? How long? Oh, shit, you shot my uncle? Maybe next year. Okay, you shot my brother? Maybe next year. Oh, you beat a girl down in the middle of fucking 405? I mean, beat her down. There's okay. a video of it. You can pull it up. When do we go, you know what? And if we're going to go out, because they're going to kill us anyway, when you raise your hands, they kill you. When you have a little girl on your arm, on your, on your, literally on your shoulders, and they shoot her point blank, with a tear gas fucking pellet that burns her arm, when do we go? You know what? Enough of this shit. So I don't. I don't. The well, good I cop mean, shit. But yeah, okay. But see, like, I'm, I'm, I'm in all of that emotionally, right? Right. But, but then, honestly, as a gun owner, I know that like I can't just go out here and like just start bucking at cops as an individual. Like that. That ain't going. That's not going to get us as a people. Any motherfucking where, and you don't even have a fucking gun, Shane. So like, you need to call. But you know what? I but you know what I do? I'll get samurai swords. I'll sneak in their window, and I say, "Uh, cop, you think you could destroy us?" And then I'll throw like stars. Yeah, I'll get those little stars. Like, like I know, I don't have you know, like a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all are just not even trained for that level of response that you're you're actually calling for, and so you know I, I'm just trying to man take take this moment for everybody to I, I get it this is all hot emotional shit, but 
when you are if you are out here yelling for cops to randomly get shot, you are asking for a whole bunch of other shit because they're not going to let that happen a bunch more times and then be like, you know what? We need to re-legislate and rethink about the way that we right. enforce the law. And maybe we should like, pass some, maybe should, we should pass some legislation. Shit. You know what they're going to be thinking? Nigger, 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 pop, pop, pop. So, but I mean, I, you, you got, I, you're, you emotionally, you understand it intellectually and factually and tactically. Tactically, we have a problem because there's a lot of motherfuckers that think, well, man, I'm good on fucking, you know, I'm good on the, com on, on the on computer games. I shoot pretty good. Whole different ball game when they fucking got to this shit same. and you go, what the fuck, what the fuck is this? The little controller don't do this. It don't do this. It don't. <laughs> and if you have a controller that do that, that's a beast ass controller. The, the sounds alone will shock your ass if you ain't ready for it. Um, right. AJ Fit three sixty five, welcome brother. Always Aryan Brotherhood teach their young how to shoot uh, with these militia groups too. So yeah, you know um, that that that's just what I'm talking about. Is I, I get we all emotional and we're all oh right. Well, wait, like, well, like, somebody said something perfect, but uh, and that's what I think. Black folks need to wait and just chill for a second. But how do we know that the shooter is black? They didn't even say the race of the shooter. We need to stop assuming the shooter is black. Um, it could be Latino. It could be a white dude that was like, you fucking cops. You man, you fucking cops. You turned over my meth lab. And I was making a lot of money on that, bro. And then they, they go and shoot cops. I mean, there was a there was a uh, some some extremist that just killed a cop last week. Not a fucking peep about it. I'll yeah. post a fucking picture. They got the picture of he's all tattooed up. He got two guns like this. Not a fucking peep. He blew a cop's head clean the fuck off. Not partially where it was like, no more head. Not a fucking word. Because we got so much. Because they want to focus on the racial division. And we got a president that likes to fan the flames of that shit. So, and then black it's, people buy into it too. And, we, and then it becomes just war. And, and understand too. I want to reiterate. I haven't. I haven't spoken about the race of the shooter at all. Like I haven't said word the first about that today or any moment. I am talking about us as a community and our response to seeing that. You know, in addition to you know, while at the same time watching this brother uh, Roderick Walker, um, you know, get hemmed up by the Georgia police in the way he did, and thank goodness he was able to to. Um, continue living after that encounter but yeah. you know in a weekend where you get these you know kind of juxtaposed images um i don't i just don't want y'all to get caught up in the fervor of yeah let's go kill all the cops and let's shoot cops and cops deserve to get shot shot shoot all the cops shoot shoot cops y'all mostly i don't even have guns you ain't trained for that you ain't ready for none of this though you ain't ready for the response that's coming so just just take those emotions they are valid Angry emotions. But, 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 but Pedro, breathe, Pedro, breathe, can you give us this breathe. one little, I said, give us I said, this one say, little morsel of revenge. Because I'm telling you, Kim Jones said it. you lucky we would just want equality instead of revenge. Let us just get this one little. No, no, okay. no, no. It's you like when the you know black what? boxer beat the white boxer. If, Let us just if, have no, it. No, 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 no. If, if I know, I know. If y'all want to go down that road, then. If this was targeted specifically at like George Zimmerman or the cops who shot Tamir Rice or any of the cops on the scene at Breonna Taylor's murder who shot her, like if if this was specifically targeted one of, at one of them, then I might be like, okay, this is a statement, right? This is a specific statement that someone is making like this type of behavior will find street justice ultimately. I agree. If, if that happens. I agree. But to just, Zimmerman shouldn't be but, walking the planet. Yeah, yeah he shouldn't be to, walking but, the planet. I, you know, I'm not telling anybody to go do that, but I'm saying if we're going to go down that road, the only way I could see this being um, poignant would if it, is if it was targeted at something that was um, specific. You but know, but to, you know to, what, to though, case. Pedro, we do talk about, we talk about gang if it say by chance it could possibly be somebody of color we're always saying shit like you know what i'm saying where are these gangbangers with all they thug tactics where are these gangbangers with the you know ride up on you ride up on an innocent person down in chicago and shoot little kids when you're gonna do that shit to the cops and apparently someone heard somebody say that shit and went yeah let me go 
pop a couple cops grills. So, I mean, I get it, but I just, I couldn't. I was trying to build empathy. I was trying to go, yeah, you know, these cops could have, they got kids. And I was like, ugh, ugh. But I hope black people don't go in the streets and go, come on, cops, let's do it. Because they'll get mowed the fuck down because we yeah. know that these people have been preparing for it anyway. They've been preparing for it without a cops getting shot. Yeah, They've been yeah. waiting for it anyway just to eliminate people of color. It's it's obvious. I mean, it's constant. Like this, there was no reason to continue punching this kid in Georgia. There was just no reason. You got him. He's down. That was on some hatred shit. That was on some hatred shit. And how do we how do we even how do we even justify even anything from the cops? When you see this, you go, you know what? It's fucked up because it could turn real bad. But part of you goes. Yeah, but y'all been killing us for a while, bro. Yeah. So I, I I know what you're saying. My logical side, you're right. My logical side says, Shang, think about it. Wait a minute. Let them investigate it. Let them see what's happening. And then the other side of me is like, I hear I see a cop killer. So I'm trying, I hear jazz over here, but I hear fucking cop killer over here. So it, you know, and I did NWA, and then fuck fuck the police. And then, you know, Anita Baker. I'm right. trying. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying. Pr Prime Minister of Tay said the days of gangsters protecting neighborhoods and communities are long gone. And, and, and you know, that, that's what I'm saying. There, there's no nationwide organized force, right? That Black Panthers was, was a righteous movement that was, was trying to be that. And, and we saw the dismantling of, of that. So since then, there hasn't been an organized force like that. And to be, and be honest with yourselves, Black people, look yourselves in the mirror. You haven't been training for an all-out war with the cops. You have been in church, praying and singing, and that's fine. But that's right. going to prepare you <laughs> for all this shit. So please stop yelling, shoot all the cops, and they all need to die. You ain't ready for that. You're not ready for that. So just you ain't ready take, for take that, Sally. You take ain't ready breaths. for it. But you know what? They, you okay. know what? I, you know what? Somebody made a good point about the Aryan race teaches their kids. Maybe that's what we got to start doing because eventually it will come to a day where we're going to be backed into a corner because we did, we killed so long. We playing Madden and we're playing video games and not fucking taking this shit seriously when they're taking it super duper seriously and the cops been trying to kill us. So I, I again, you know, NWA, fuck the police. And then the other side of me is like, you know what? Uh, give love. Give love. Miss Ever. Give love. Miss Miss Adverb said, so "Y'all, you and Miss Adverb must go to the same church." She said, "My God told me, Annie up." <laughs> we know how Miss Adverb rolls, though. She more savage than Savage AF. That's why she's here every time, and that's why that's you why should be too. Monday through Friday, we're on Mondays and Friday, three p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday through Thursday, six p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be safe out there, black people. We're gonna uh, we're gonna roll through this. We're gonna keep rolling with the show, man. Um, but but yeah, <laughs> stay calm in these streets, y'all. <laughs> Um, speaking as of, best uh, you can. But speaking of, the... speaking of losing your minds, um, Henderson, Nevada, Trump rally last night. I called my mother this morning. I said, Mom, you are not allowed to go anywhere or do anything for the next two weeks. You will order all your food because there's going to be a spike in your area. You know, Henderson is right next to Vegas. It's a, a, a neighboring suburb. Um, and, know, and, like, and, and he had a very big crowd. And Trump, Trump uh, let me just, I, I wanted to say, I want to say something because he's doing one in Phoenix. He got one coming up in Phoenix, and he's been doing these large crowds. I think he's if he figures if he's either he's going to win, or he's going to go out and build as much of his rabid fan base of racist, cunty, orange bitch sticks, and he's going Im immediately when he loses, he's going to activate them all to be like, "I didn't lose, I won." It's fake news, and it's going to he's going to use them. But and I was thinking about your mom, believe it or not. That's you can't even say that to a man because they go, hey man, what way would you think about my mom? I mean, her safety. See, <laughs> people think brown things. I was thinking she's right there, and there was tons of people, no mask, um, just you know, screaming and you know, America, fuck yeah. yeah. And I was just thinking, man, and I know people that are elderly in Vegas were like, what the fuck are you doing? But Trump feels like he's so anti-science. He's so like, 
I'm gonna, it's like opposite day. And I was thinking, man, but you're right to tell your mom to stay in because I'm telling you, man, they said that there's gonna be the, the three places there are hurt, he already been is gonna be super spreads. They just, yeah. You gonna know be, what's gonna it, happen, man. We saw it with Sturgis. And, you know, obviously that was scaled way up. There was hundreds of thousand people came through a, a 7,000 person town. But, you know, the thing with this one is that it was the, it's the, it, the one in, um, in Henderson was the, the first one since, you know, they killed Herman Kuhn in, uh, <laughs> at the, at the, uh, first, at the last rally. <laughs> Steve, last you rally say shit started. like that, you say shit like that. And part of me is like, Pedro's being level headed and he's being, He's being rational. Then you said, you see how they killed Herman Kuhn. Like, see, you got, where's the little, you know what, lean up a little bit more so I can see the little double Pedro on his shoulder. <laughs> it's like, and he's like, ah, yeah, kill them all, fuck them all. And then hey, I'm the, just saying, what happened? Little Pedro, this is what happened. The little Pedro is like, no, Gertrude has to stay in the house. That's not right. <laughs> I say, get them all, fuck them, fuck them all. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yep. Um, and and he, think, died, he died not that long after this shit happened. Man, after like, the, the, the like rally. Like two weeks. Like two weeks. Like two weeks later. So um, Vegas so is going to be in trouble. And they're trying to open Vegas back up because a couple of clubs hit me about doing shows. And I said, well, we, let's wait a little bit. Uh, let's maybe let's wait a little bit. Maybe November. You know, maybe November, December. But man, <laughs> did you see the footage of that shit? Of the... Uh, the um, the little rally. yeah yeah man they was all up on each other yeah it yeah. was like a, it was like a it was like a clan rally but they wore red hoods i mean not, not, hit. i mean hat hats. did i say red hoods hat <laughs> i said hat. hood was that a what? slip hood, uh, hat, yeah. hood. same thing but uh no they you know oh they said he was very a little mass. four cancer survivor that's why he died i mean uh, kane that, they say that, that ain't not you know I'm not denying that he had cancer. I'm just saying that the, the, he seemed to be fine two weeks before that and then was diagnosed with COVID and then died. So that's, that's the whole thing with pre-existing conditions is that you, you might be able to deal with the pre-existing condition and live longer. But once you get to COVID, then it, it pre-exists the pre-existing and it's like, oh, let's help you. Let me help you kill this motherfucker. I see you were trying to do it anyway. Here's how. Right. And that's what COVID does. That's what COVID would take your body. And if you've already got something in you that's trying to kill it, then COVID's like, hey, friend, I'm good at this too. And then they go down the road together and alter your hey. lungs. And they go, la, 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 you know what? La, 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 la. We There's his heart. Soccer. Let's go. Um, yeah, so, but you know what? They, you, know. Been, you were in Vegas last week, and, and Pandora's um, box, underscore box, said, Vegas looks open as fuck to me. Is it open? Because, I mean, a lot of the live shows is not open. A lot of live shows in New York and Vegas is not open because I know for a fact because they was already hitting me for dates. And they was like, they were like, well, we'll wait a little bit. Or the ones that were open, I'm like, ah, I'm not fucking with you. I'm sorry. It's just not. That's it. And, uh, and, and meanwhile, Prime Minister Tay said Idaho just voted to end the state of emergency in their state. Because, yeah, it's over, man. It's all over, bro. Uh, did you hear? I mean, and this this is the mentality of of, of the administration and the supporter uh, of the and the supporter of that administration. Like uh, they released some more of the Bob Woodward tapes, like the last interview that he gave about a month ago. And right. you know, Trump T. Dumpty was really surprised that you know Bob Woodward thought that the COVID pandemic supersedes the economy. Like he was like, but. But the stock market's good. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? So his, his mentality is like, the, the, is, we're doing fine with the, with the pandemic, bro, because the stock market is good. Like, he's not, they're not looking at numbers anymore. They're not worried about right. testing. They don't care about But the stock anything. market, the stock market, in a, you know what, the economy is not good. He's, again, you got to understand, I don't, when I do watch him say something, I go, I just wish there was a nigga that was just real loud dude on the side. The dude that said, I'm here to fuck your wife. I wish, I, I, my name is Reggie and I came to fuck your wife. I wish he was just standing by him. Liar! Fucking liar. Like every yes. time he talks, somebody should yell out, liar, motherfucker. Liar. And that liar. just, that's it. Yeah. Or if a, if a woman's being an asshole with you, 
and she's being a diva, it should be a woman that stands next to her. Not a man said, but a woman. Lie, bitch. Lie, yeah, bitch. <laughs> or, or like a parrot. Maybe a parrot on his shoulder. That like was a, a liar, liar. That was in um, Harlem Nights. There's a, it, I don't know if you, uh, it, it's, a, it's, it's, it's hard to pick up. It's a subtle joke. But in Harlem Nights, when uh, Della Reese and Red Fox are going back and forth about the uh, orange juice. The orange juice. Like, yeah, and he's like, well, swallow it and shut the fuck up. The, the parrot in the background the whole time is yelling out shit like, fat bitch, <laughs> fat bitch. <laughs> it's, 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 you got you to gotta watch that scene again, trust me. The parrot, the parrot. Eve's underscore, a shout out to Eve. Eve's yep. underscore Apple, 7916 in the building. Our resident queen, she she is the one that keeps the engine going. And mad shout out to Eve underscore. Yeah. Hey guys, and then she does a little cute hand. Hey guys, when am I gonna get to shoot some of these bitches? All right, so I I mean, now let me ask you this: When you were now you were just down there, what's the first thing you thought other than I gotta call my mom's and tell her please don't fuck with these people out there? Well, Did I mean, you think, I, you know, I, damn. I, I know she's not out there, out there like that anyways. Um, but, you know, she makes a little grocery run here, there, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it, like, I, I did a grocery run with her the other day. And, um, you know, I had, she has, a, she has a refrigerator in the garage as well as in the kitchen. And, you know, I parked right next to the, the one in the garage. And, uh, you know, I got the trunk open. I'm getting set up to, like, wipe down the groceries. And I come back to the garage and I, I see her closing the uh, refrigerator door or the uh, freezer door. And, uh, and she goes to walk away. And I was like, did you just put something in that freezer? And she was like, yeah. I was like, without wiping it down or anything, huh? She, was, she sucked her teeth. I was like, suck your teeth all you want to. Get in that house and wash your hands. You know what I'm saying? Like, so every but I'm your day, mother. <laughs> she slips up and I'm like, no, 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 young lady. You did not wipe that down. It doesn't go in the freezer. You know what? If you keep acting like this, we will not have any pudding. So, I mean, but his, <laughs> <laughs> but his, but his mom, his mom's a thug. We were moving him once and his mom was trying to lift shit up. I'm like, go we can't up. lift that shit. <laughs> When you put that down, down, he's like, I got it. I got it. So you can't, you know, you got to, you got to. Yeah, see, I couldn't but, say that to her. Pedro's yeah. like, Mom, we got it. Chill. So she, we can she, carry it. Are you she, sure? Because I can carry it. Yeah, she ain't out there hanging with people like that or nothing. But, you know. She ain't at no frat parties? I, I, it's just like any any unnecessary stops, you know, don't make them because um, have shit delivered and, and, and kick back for a couple weeks uh, because... I think there's going to be a spike there in Henderson, you know. Um, in and, Vegas, and, I think. It, it, yeah, Henderson is big next and to Vegas. Vegas area. Yeah, that, you know, Nevada. And, you know, that, Phoenix wasn't, too. Just, that Phoenix. wasn't just locals because people are popping in from all over the state, I'm sure. So it, it'll spread on up to Reno and Winnemuc and all that other shit. So it, it's going to get you, up there. You, you froze. Oh, my bad. But Pedro, just, you froze just now. I was just going to say. Okay, I was just gonna say, can you hear me again? You got me. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was just gonna say it. Uh, it, you know, it's gonna be a statewide problem in Nevada. It's it's gonna cause spikes. And like you said, Phoenix too, where I believe it was a Latinos for Trump rally. So you know, he's not just targeting his his uh his base, but a specific group of his base that is suffering from it the most, Latinos uh, uh, in Phoenix there. So. You know yeah. what, though? This sounds fucked up. If there's anybody Latino on here, you're not going to like this segment of Savage AF. What the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah. Okay, this is the same person that called you yeah. rapist. He called you rapist and killers and maybe some good people. This is yeah. the same person that wouldn't believe a Mexican judge because he was Mexican, even though he was born in fucking, you know, Indiana. And they still said, this is the same person that tell people that are in Congress, because even though they told them to go back to where they came from or go back to their country. You, and, you're, and you're still down with these. All you Latinos, you just like the niggas that, that are playing the coon cage fucking version of things. That's what I see you as. You're Herschel Walker. You know what you are? You're Herschel Walker with a fucking accent. That's what you are, you bitches. I'm going to say to all you, how you fucking arrive with this dude, you bunch of bitches? Now, I love your music and I love your food, but I'm going to tell you right now, you're acting like a bunch of bitches. That's it. And your women are hot too, but don't be acting like no bitches. Well, Sorry, I had to get that bitch. I had to get my bitch quota out. I had a bitch quota today. Okay, uh, Miss Adverb, I am not Latino. You, you know who I'm talking to. I'm talking, you're Hispanic. 
are Hispanics for Trump. I don't give a fuck, okay? Brown people for Trump. Menudo for Trump. Fuck all y'all. Menudo. For Sorry. Trump. The Jets for Trump. <laughs> the Jets for Trump. We can keep going. I don't give a fuck. If you're a person, I I never thought I would agree with Biden, but he shouldn't have been the one to say it. But if you're, a, I'm going to say it, if you're a Latino, after the shit he said, after condoning the motherfucker down in El Paso that went in there and shot a bunch of people up and said he was doing it for Trump, that was, he specifically targeted Hispanics or Latinos, and you still think this dude likes you and is down for you and has empathy for you, fuck you, feed you rocks, and take you swimming. Well, speaking of uh, misguided misguided dudes who, who thought Trump uh, loved him, but now is a singing. Oh, that is a perfect segue. Good. Well, let me tell you something before we start. I have to give, I have an award somewhere around here. I'll, I'll give it to him. Where's that award? For the best segues in the business and the and wait i have to read it and the award goes to oh my god it, uh, another year in a row it's black pedro i think i just won your phone bill what's that your phone bill <laughs> yeah that was my phone bill yeah, it actually was shit you got good ass um so check this out man um you, we, we all love Don Cheadle. I don't know if, what part of the tree this dude fell off of in his family. And I'm not, I don't know if they're related. I'm just joking. But Gregory Cheadle, this is his name. When I say this. <laughs> I don't think I it was say, Don Cheadle. I don't think it was it War Machine. Don. It ain't Don. It, it wasn't War Machine. It ain't Black Friday. This is, this is Gregory <laughs> Cheadle, guys. And when we say Gregory Cheadle, I'm talking about in 2016, Redding, California is where Trumpy Dumpty uh, he was then presidential candidate, uh, had a rally in September, I believe they said it was. Oh, sorry, in June of 2016. Um, and he, he was talking about, uh, you know. <laughs> I found a picture of him. Yeah, he's basically looking in the crowd like, you know, where, where, you know, where are my African-Americans or whatever. And lo and behold, and, and this is something I didn't hear on the video originally, but this lone voice cried out, <laughs> the, the one piece of, of, of peppercorn in a sea of salt. Uh, right. And he was, he was like, here I am. And uh, honestly, if, if you listen to his voice, he, he has one of those voices. Like, and I've been in accounting for a while. And uh, what I thought, yeah, he it's does. not really prudent for you to, he has, I'm like, put some bass in your voice at least. And be like, yeah, I voted for Trump. He's like, well, you know, I kind of thought he was going to be different. <laughs> it's like, oh, your voice. Well, but, uh, let's give you a quick look at him. Go ahead, do the voice real quick. Do the voice. Hi, my name's Gregory Cheadle. I once voted for Donald Trump, and now I feel like a dick nugget. Uh, my grandparents call me Ass Jackal. I've lost a girlfriend, uh, most of my supporters and friends. And since then, I've been called nothing but a mule biscuit and snail cum. I've had seven-year-olds <laughs> call me snail cum. It hurts. That was, it really hurts. Yeah, we usually don't have guests because uh, Instagram, but we just had... That was, uh, <laughs> that was uh, Gregory Cheadle, Trump's black, Trump's Gregory African Cheadle. American. His African American. Uh, that's what Trump called him. He the, looks uh, like you know what he looks like. He looks like a ball sack with glasses on. He looks like if <laughs> if you if you had a, if it was a ball sack with glasses and a top, he looked like <laughs> he, he looks like he eats a lot of nuts. <laughs> and I don't mean just. <laughs> I've often been told my nuts are extremely educated and smart. Uh, yeah, That's right. they read a lot. Uh, did you see any interviews with him? Because I mean, he just—I uh, did see. I did see an interview. That's where. That's where I got the voice from. Uh, and at, at sad. Some point, it's sad. At some point, he ran as an independent uh, for a California state seat. Uh, but he, he really I had did. The he really did lose his girlfriend at the time, who was a uh, hey, Princeton ain't. Listen, uh, my whole time at Princeton, I was like, hey. Hey, I'm taking African American classes and motherfucking architecture, and that's it. It's, it started with A, and that's what we do. We just start with A, and yes. we're going nowhere. And by the way, Pedro, African American. Pedro wore dashikis, even though he's Trinidadian. He wore dashikis, and you know what? He was always asking, "How come ain't no brothers up on the wall? How come ain't no brothers up on the wall at every place he went on Princeton?" So you watch your ass about it. Now, they, when I went to, to college, they used to, they used to tell me to sit in the back of the room. And at first, I thought it was some racist shit, but my afro was so big, I didn't realize I was blocking out the view for everybody right. from the third row. So back. it wasn't, it wasn't racial. Other than, that, other than that, I stood up for my rights. Yes. God damn it. I wish I could say there wasn't a lot of black people uh, 
in when I went to school, but there was a lot of black people in the arts. In the arts, so, so I, I, there was people <laughs> of stand, color. A lot of standalone uh, protest. <laughs> Shane was like, yeah, just "What there. do I want? <laughs> Freedom? When do I want it? <laughs> what do I want? I'm thirsty. Just, just better, better food options, please." And Miss Adverb, you know what you are? If you're, if you're a Rican, guess what? He thinks you're not from fucking America. Yeah, he's like so. Foreigners. We already know that. So I love the fact that he lost his woman. I love the fact. You get on my fucking nerves. I'm telling you, the black folks that really don't get this are lost. I used to say, well, they're allowed to have a different opinion. Nah, fuck that. And, and my attitude now is if you condone stupidity like that, then mm, you, you might be smart, but you you were, you were still got a lot of stupid in you. You know, obviously, this is an educated man. You know what I mean? And uh, by the way, Deborah Hyatt, I'm sorry that you... I'm, you almost spit soda out your nose, but we have never condoned the consumption of anything while watching this show. Because at any point, you could drown in your own whiskey or die in a bowl of grits. Because we, we'll do that to you. You know, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, that's we'll what that. Savvy so Jeff careful. does. But, and, and you know what? You know what else we do? We want you to fucking subscribe. Subscribe yeah. to the podcast. Quit, quit tell, have me tell you. Subscribe. iTunes, Stitcher. Finish it off, Pedro, because it's iTunes, Stitcher. Go! Google Play, Slacker, iHeartRadio. Uh, SoundCloud, Spotify, ding, 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 ding. I feel like I just want a game show. Like, yeah, yeah we in the money, we in the money. But uh, so no, I, I think that I mean we're gonna go on to the next topic. But I gotta admit, um, I the research I did some research on him, man. That's why I had to put the picture up while you were doing the voice, and I was just like, man, that's spot on. Um, but just his whole thought process, and when it had Cheeto for Congress, I'm looking at his platform. And it was just, it was like, you know what the first thing he was asking for? Tap dance shoes. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was tap dance. On my agenda is tap dance shoes. Secondly uh, was, will Master let shine. me sleep <laughs> in his house? Some good shine. Uh, Man, you know, it's he, so uh, bad. Obviously an educated person, but you know, it's funny, the interview I saw, he was like, you know, I, I, I entered the Republican Party uh, believing that I could bring about some change. And he, I, he, here, here, here's the key thing with all of these black Republicans, if you're wondering what their mindset is. It, it, it was like, you know, I, I, I fell in love with the history of, of the Republican Party. And I'm like, you know what? And it got me to thinking like this. As a Detroit Lions fan, this, this is the... Ugh. The best I Sorry. can give it to you, it, even though, you know, I, I, I boycott the NFL, that, that's my home squad. And it's like, if I just focused on the history of the Lions, I'd be like, we were one of the greatest champions ever in 1957. <laughs> exactly. But what have you done for me lately, Republican Party? So lately, you are the Lions who have not been to the fucking Super Bowl ever. The Lions have never been to the Super Bowl. So for black people, that's what the Republican Party is. They are your Detroit Lions. Thank you. You're welcome. But, you are welcome. Yeah, but you know what? You got to look at it this you. way. You got to look at it this way, pretending to black Republicans that are Republicans, or they say, well, the Republicans are for the richer, work for richer people. The Republicans have leaned constantly towards racism. Now, the Democrats used to have a fucking monopoly on it back in the day, but they show more empathy than the fucking Republicans do. And the Republicans back in this orange cunt stick, this bucket of fuck, that's what his, he's a bucket of fuck. If you actually think this man or the GOP gives a fuck about you because they back this racist, xenophobic, horrible, pathological fucking liar, then I don't like you either. And I, you know, in fact, there was a person that just added me on Facebook. She said, hey, I just really love comedy. And I hope that you're not mad. I'm a Trump supporter. And I said, hey, you know what? Everybody got their own path. Unfriend, bitch. It was immediately. <laughs> I, I don't need you. Yeah. That's, bye. Bye, bitch. Bye. Bye. I don't like. I'm so sick of black people trying to compromise. And to me, when I see black people just wanting, like, I've started to learn that comedy wise. I want no, I want somebody to accept me because of funny. I think because that motherfucker's funny, period, the end. But I don't want them to embrace me because I want them, like, I don't want them, please accept me. I you accept you. me because I'm, yeah, you accept me because I'm dope, not because of your bullshit. And yeah. I don't have to 
you know, cater to you and make sure that you feel comfortable. Because when I make you feel comfortable, it's better for you. And you don't have to make me feel comfortable in any way, shape, or form. Is that what it is? Fuck y'all. Yeah. Fuck y'all. Feed y'all rocks. And take you skydiving. Yep. Sorry. So, yeah, you know, we, you know, although, although their, their history is history, it, it also changes and we have to live in the present. So, uh, yeah. But, is, but, I didn't but know Brittany, the Lions never, never, they haven't won a championship. Bowl. Well, we've, we've only won an NFL championship, but since the advent of the Super Bowl, we've never been. In my, in my, listen, bro, in my like 30, I'm, I've probably been watching football for like 32 years or something like that, 34 or 5. Uh, I think they've only been to the playoffs like four times in 30 years. Get the bro. fuck like, out of here. Bruh, 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 bruh. I don't know. I don't, I don't. Yeah. What do you no. say like that, bruh, bruh? No, yeah, I, no. I, I watched, they, they, went, they were talking I went about. A, I went a whole season where they won not a game. 0 oh, and 16. They were the first to do that. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's why your product is shit. Your goddamn NFL and your fucking lines and yes, it is Pam Doors box. Very easy for me to boycott. It's not really even a boycott. I feel like it's therapy. I don't have to watch that crap every Sunday anymore. But <laughs> and, you know, I watched some of the, but some of the, so I watched uh, something on CNN where they were talking about there were protests in the in the league, and they said they still haven't done enough, and there were still people that are mad about the fact that these people took a knee when they did the kickoff, um, and people say the Steelers have six Super Bowls. Uh, yeah, but I, I went to school in Pittsburgh. Let me tell you something. Pittsburgh is <laughs> racist as fuck. Ooh. Yes. Okay, and the Steelers had a problem with a black fucking coach who actually had them winning. That's how racist they are. You are helping us win, and, and we still don't like you, nigga. And, so and, fuck and, them, too, and fuck and, the NFL. And Kaepernick still didn't get a fucking job, so fuck all y'all. And you know Roethlisberger is is a is a rape machine. He's just a rape junkie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy got, he had more cases. That's than true. Him. I remember. Man, yeah. he, he he he's just a fan. But ladies don't get caught in the corner. He's he's out. What you drinking over there? Can of rape. <laughs> yeah, that's what he does. Just cracking over Tasty. the can of molestation. He was a terrible, <laughs> terrible guy. But anyways, that being said, guys, we're gonna move on. But uh, Gregory Cheeto has 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 seen the light and is no longer a Trump supporter. Blah blah right. blah. Um, so speaking of Trumpy Dumpty, you know, we've been, we've been, uh, you know, focusing a lot of shows on, on voting and things like that. A uh, part of this whole voting problem, uh, this, this, uh, cycle is, is the United States Postal Service, uh, and not, right. not, the, not the hardworking people of it, but the man leading them, uh, Louis DeJoy, um, you know, from removal of machines and boxes off of the street, uh, which, you know, was, highly foreseeable could be problems with, you know, heightened mail-in over the pandemic. You know, people want to mail in more because the fucking pandemic out there. They don't want to stand in line. Especially, even, even especially in the, early the elderly. The elderly are going to have a real tough time because a lot of them, between their medication and just not wanting to be in long fucking lines, even if it wasn't any pandemic, if you're older, you don't want to stand up for six hours. You don't want to sit in a lawn chair for that long. It's hard. Mailing in makes it more convenient for people that are ill or sick or whatever and still have a right to fucking vote. And the people that are doing this, there's some dirty dogs. But, like you said, it's about to go down, man. I think it's going to be one after the other. Dominoes, they're going to all start suing them. Like, oh, yeah. you want to fu oh, you wanna fucking so, shoot me in the pinky toe? Yeah, so, that's uh, what's going to happen. And when you, when you say start suing them, it, this is the first domino where... Uh, the Secretary, yep. Secretary of State, Jenna Griswold, and she often appears on CNN, so I've seen her and seems to be a very uh, competent young lady who <laughs> knows, knows the laws and her job and the confines of all of those things, uh, as well as her freedoms and powers to, to initiate her office. Um, she is suing the, the United States Postal Service specifically uh, over these mailers that they have sent out with quote unquote, and for those who are just listening on the podcast, quote unquote, uh, information that they are sending out that is telling people um, that to, it's advising people to request a vote by mail ballot at least 15 days before election day and to return the official ballot at least seven days before. Um, the guidelines, that those guidelines don't align with Colorado's. And what you'll find is that the mailer that the United States Postal Service is sending out right now is just one yep. blanket mailer 
to all 50 states, even though state by state, the laws are very different. We've gone over many of the swing states in the past couple of weeks. You know we have, and we've heard different dates, the different early start, you know, different registration deadlines, different uh, early voting um, windows. So um, in addition to the physical barriers that they uh, have um, put up by taking down things like uh, counting machines, like mail sorting machines, I should say. Mail and, sorting and, machines. And actual mail uh, Mailboxes. Yeah, um, mailboxes. The, the voter, the voter boxes for it. Yeah, they're taking those up too. And yeah, and so and in addition to those physical barriers, they are actually doing a, a, a misinformation campaign because like Colorado, this is what Colorado is suing for. It's like you are sending the wrong information to the citizens of my state who I am responsible for giving the right information on voting for so that they are not disenfranchised from their vote. And I, I do believe you're right saying that dominoes are going to fall after this and you're going to see other states suing because, like I said, he's sending the same information to every state. And while it might apply in some states, it really doesn't apply in most states. You know what I mean? Like there are just vastly different right. rules. And, and, slightly and different the bottom dates. line is what we've been saying here on Savage is make sure you vote early. Uh, uh, let me just say this real quick. Uh, JRA underscore NYC said COVID-45 junior just called teachers losers. Ugh, that explains your fucking educational level, you bitch. Maybe the motherfuckers you was with was loser. But aside from that bitch motherfucker, I've seen his crazy tweets. He's out of his mind and he can just eat a bag of razor blades and swallow them, you bitch. Um, I think that what this is going to do is going to make other people that might have been timid to do it because they are trying to do this all over the country, especially in the, the, the battleground states. I think they're going to step up. I think these, some of these Democrats are a little pussies. That's what I don't like about the Democrats. They act like pussies. Man, he say some shit, you should say some shit. Go back at him. Apparently, that's what works with these dummies. All right? Go low the dummies are trying to sway over. Yeah, just say, just say to them. Yo, I wouldn't want to see during the debate... Biden, if he had the balls, which he don't, but his balls should have dropped by now being 765 he years old. He could swing them at this point. Bolo he could swing, like, <laughs> swing them at him like, like click clacks. It's just the thing is, why doesn't he just say every time Trump says something, even if we have a fact checker go, you know you're lying. You know you're a lying ass bitch. You know <laughs> we already got... This is yeah. just a big ass like game show buzzer that's like, <laughs> actually, yeah. we have some lovely parting gifts for you. <laughs> And, you know, it's like, yeah. no, I'm just telling you right now. I think we he shouldn't fuck around. He shouldn't try to be we go we go high when you go low. He should go just as savage. Like yes, I use the word savage in the description of a show we're on called Savage. Um, I just we, he think he should just go flat out. And the joy just needs to be fucking pieced up. That yeah. motherfucker is just corrupt as shit, and he hey. stuffed up Trump's ass. Like just, every uh, time, Ed, every time Trump wipes his ass, Detroit just goes <laughs> and falls yeah. out. So it just it just popped up that we got a minute left because uh, I don't get extra time on my feed like you do, Shane. But I'm gonna blow up too, man. Don't worry. <laughs> what <he's laughs> like that? Hey, but check this out. So, um, but yes, we're gonna keep our eye on this situation because we definitely want to see Colorado successful in its attempt to properly inform its voting base. That being said. We will be back here tomorrow through Thursday. That's 6 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And then back again on Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you guys for walking with us. Uh, I'm Black Pedro. Make sure you always follow at Comedian Shang. Take us out, Big Shang. You got hey, make seconds. sure you subscribe. iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio. We will see you tomorrow. Make sure you tell your friends, 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 so our numbers go through the fucking roof. And if you don't do that shit, no gift for you. No gift for you. You understand? Got it. Follow the podcast.